That's right, the door is open for Bowling Green. They've got a shot at the title and some program history, but they need to beat Fremont Ross again. Scoreless midway through the first. Thomas Meek plants the pass right on Lucas Brinninger's foot. He finds the back of the net for his 10th goal of the year. 2-1 at the break, and the Bobcats come alive right away. First chance punched right out to Brinninger, right into the net for a 3-1 lead, and he's not done. Five minutes later, Meek on the charge, splits two defenders, and he goes right back to Brinninger. The rice is nice. The hat trick completes a 4-1 win. Meek also scored. Big second half sets up the big game Tuesday against Springfield with the league title on the line. We need to be a little bit more calm on the ball, and their defensive line was sitting really far in, so he just told the attackers to sit in a little bit deeper and to take our space, uh, not force our shots, get in the box a little bit more, and we were able to do that, and I put two more in the back of the net. It feels great. Uh, we'd uh, be able to break history. You know, Our school has never won the league before, so it'd be great to come in, go into that game knowing that if we win that game, then we win the league, and it'd be huge for us. Chris Midbauer and Francis Stevens, what did you guys see? Bowling Green came in tonight after winning 3-0 against these Fremont Ross Little Giants a couple weeks ago. It was definitely going to be a contest that BG was going to be the heavy favorite in, but Fremont Ross made him think a little bit here tonight. Yeah, Gabe Winsinger scored that great goal, their eighth goal of the year, which was really huge for them. You saw how much they celebrated that. It's been a struggle this year for them, but they kept really running at that Bowling Green side that last five minutes, but the Bobcats found a way, and that started with Luca Brenninger, a phenomenal night for him, a hat trick on a night, but also they're really excited because they have a huge opportunity ahead of them next week. Yeah, we found out Crosstown Springfield ended up tying with Southview nil-nil. Now it all comes down here in the Cardinal Division between Springfield and Bowling Green next week. We talked a lot about BG having aspirations, again, about a Cardinal Division title, also deep run in the state playoffs. This is a team that I think could sneak up on a lot of people. You better be very careful of that because I think Josh Fox is coming. We talked about Deion Sanders was coming at the beginning of the year. I think Josh Fox is coming. And this team right now, they got a lot of confidence. And that's what I like about them. Very sound defensively, really good midfield. Their front three can bother a lot of teams if you're not prepared for a lot of speed and physicality. And that's what Brenninger brings. Thomas Brink brings that as well, too. And we know about what Grant Sonner can do. Mm -hmm. We saw what he did against uh, Southview here a couple weeks ago. What I like about this, with this Bowling Green team is this. They're patient. They look for their they look for their spots. They're not going to rush anything. They keep everything very organized. But you can see the cohesiveness of this group, and they've been gaining more and more confidence as the year goes on. Yes, their record and their schedule might not be where everybody else is this, but all they matter is this: they want to keep winning games. And now they have an opportunity to play for their first league championship. How about this in the NOL? We're talking about Springfield and mm -hmm. Bowling Green playing for a league, a team that Southview, who's back-to-back -back district champs. Regional finals last year, but hey, this Bowling Green team, defending D2 district champions, want to be Division One district champions, is going to be a fun night down here in Wood County. Well, it definitely feels like this Bowling Green group is going to have something to say about it at the end of the season. We'll find out if they can bring it home next week.